Hello people, this is Self Turds and we are starting our series on Python and MongoDB. So in this particular tutorial, we will be installing PyMongo so that we can interact with our MongoDB database. So once the connection established, we can create different database operations on MongoDB like we can create databases, we can delete databases, we can insert new document, we can search over the document and other things. Python can be used in database application which means Python as a programming language can be used to interact with different databases like MySQL, Cassandra, then MongoDB, then you can have VoltDB and other things. So Python as a language can be used to interact with different database applications. So in this video, we will connect to MongoDB using Python and MongoDB is a popular NoSQL databases. So NoSQL databases are such database which are schema-less. So these are common these days. So you can have like CouchDB, you can have MongoDB, you can have Cassandra. So these are different NoSQL databases where the relationship is not important. The other databases are called as SQL database. There is a tight relationship between tables using the foreign key constraint. So MongoDB is a NoSQL database. If you want to go into the details of the working of MongoDB, that how, what is MongoDB and why it is getting used, then I'll create another video for that. But for now, you just need to understand that MongoDB is a popular NoSQL database. We will be using PyMongo package of Python to connect to the MongoDB database. So this is the PyMongo package. We will go to our Chrome and we'll see the different documentation related to PyMongo. But first I'll explain you that what we are going to do. So this is a machine where MongoDB is hosted. So you can host it as a local uh, MongoDB or you can have a cloud system also. So since this is a machine, so this will be having a IP address. So in my case, the IP address is this like 192.168.0.10. But depending on your machine, it can be either local host or it can be a different IP address. So this MongoDB is hosted on this IP address and it is working on this port. So every server as MongoDB is also an application or it is a server. So it needs some port on which it can, it can listen some request so that the client like in our case will be creating a python application that will act as a client and that can connect to this mongodb on a particular ip address and on a particular port once these two things are finalized then you can connect to the mongodb using your python client now this is our python application where we'll be writing a python code that will include inserting document uh, doing a query over the document and we will be using this PyMongo library, which is being provided by Python to interact with this MongoDB. So once we write this Python application and once we have this MongoDB up and running, we can just use it to connect and perform different database operation. So you can install PyMongo using pip install PyMongo. So first thing is what we'll go to the Chrome browser and we will see about this PyMongo. So I'll just type here Py mongo pip so this will give you as the first result for pymongo and here you can see that the current version is 3.10.1 then you can go over the different things that is here what is the home page how many github stars it is having let's search for the documentation so release history and then you have let's go to the home page so if you go to the home page, so this is the main GitHub repository, which is PyMongo file. So here are the different things that you can learn that how to install PyMongo. And then you can also uh, go through the documentation like these examples are given that how you can import PyMongo, how you can create a client and connect to the database. So we'll be using all these things to in this particular series, then you have a very extensive documentation here. Like you can go, go to this link. So here you can see that extensive documentation. If you want to go into the deep of this particular PyMongo library, then you can go into the examples and there are different things that you can read from here. So this is the whole thing that we will be creating in this particular tutorial series. I'll be using IntelliJ IDEA as my IDE where I do all the coding stuff. You can use any IDE of your own, like you can use Sublime, you can use VS Code, you can use Eclipse or anything, whatever you want. That is not a constraint. So basically the setup is not the important part. The working of the application is the important part. So what I'll do, I'll open something here, like I'll open a project. So I'll go to a folder here. So let's go to that folder. I'll go to D drive. So here is D drive 
then I'll go to workspace and inside workspace there is Python and here I have created a folder Python MongoDB. So this is a setup on my machine. You can have your own setup wherever you want your want to create your own folder. So now I've opened that particular thing that is that particular folder and then you can see here the project is empty. Now I need to define the Python interpreter that I'll be using for this particular application. So in IntelliJ IDEA, I will be going to file and then I'll be using, I will be going to project structure and here I'll be defined a new SDK. So I have all these different SDK previously defined. So I'll do one, add one and add a Python SDK. So here what it is using, if you can see it is using Python 3.6. So I'm using Python 3.6 for my application, which I'll be writing later on. And it is using the virtual environment thing to create my environment. So you can create your own virtual environment with your command line tool or anything, whatever you want, that is not important. So I'm creating this virtual environment thing using my uh, IntelliJ IDEA adding Python interpreter interface. So I'll come here and hit OK. So this will do what this will create a new interpreter here or the new SDK here that SDK I can use in my current project and then I can add new files, install new things. So it is saying successfully installed and you can see here Python 3.6 Python MongoDB SDK has been created. Now I need to use this SDK. So I'll go to project and here I'll select the SDK. So I'll be using Python 3.6 MongoDB and I'll hit apply and then OK. So now you can see here that the VNV folder has been created and there are different things that are related here. So if I open my terminal now, you can see the VNV is here, like it is already activated. And if I do, let's say pip list. So these are the different libraries that are present like pip 21 point because I haven't installed anything. Now what we will do, we will go to this slide and we can see that pip install pymongo is the command through which we can install pymongo. So I'll come here and I'll say pip install pymongo. So upon hitting enter, it will go to the net or it will use my cached version, which I already have on my local machine and it will try to install it. Now what I will do, I'll again do pip list here. So this time you will see that I am having pymongo 3.10.1 version installed on my this VNV folder. Now what I'll do, I'll come to this Python MongoDB and I'll be creating a new file. So let's say that name of the file is app.py. So here it is app. Here it is app.py and I'll just do import pymongo. So now you can see it is not giving me any error. And if I go to here, means if I follow this pymongo using alt and then enter or alt B on my local machine, so I can go inside this pymongo library. So which means that the pymongo library has been successfully installed. So this was about this tutorial that how to install pymongo. In the next video, we'll see how to connect to MongoDB using this particular PyMongo library. So hope you like this video. Hope you like my channel. Please subscribe to my video and please share these videos with other people. Thank you.